Guys, welcome to Tao Ching Kai. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you're now holding your bicep with the right hand, yeah, you're gonna bong from behind. Bong from behind. Send that energy in. Loosen that whole shoulder, helping them along. The more you practice this, I promise you, you will get stronger. Yeah, and the more you do this for your elders, your elders will get more, more relaxed and more flexible, more better, healthier. Yes? But the plan is hopefully one day, your elder could do this to you. Yeah, if you could do it in such a way where your elder is doing this back to you, that means you've done your, your job. You understand? Because then when you get older, your children have been watching you do this, so they will help you. You understand? When we all get old. Makes sense what I'm saying, isn't it? You're helping the, if you want to help change the world, this is how you do it. Do you guys hear me at home? This is how you change the world. If you do this yeah, to the point where your mother or father can do this back for you, that means you've done your you've done well. And hopefully during this time, your children have been watching you do this. That means when you become old, your children do it for you. And then that is how the cycle continues and continues. What I'm describing here is tangible, practical. Yeah, it's a secure, a sure way of really changing the world. And all it takes is you. There's no you say, oh, they should do this and they should do that. The only person you need to be worried about is yourself. Good. Yes, going back to the end, shaking. Shaking it. Gentle tigers. Yes, I've been up and down, up and down, up and down. Good. Good. Shaking. Good. Yeah, come back up. It'll be better now, don't it? It's your warmer, yeah? Mm. You can't even feel okay, yeah? You switch about after. Um, youngsters, I just want you to stand here and just shake your legs. Just shake them. Give them a little shake so you feel relaxed. Yeah? And if you want to, bring in gently, smiling. Wait. <sighs> Shake. Ah, shake, yeah? Good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to gently push your recipient's head forward. As much as they allow you. Yes? You're now going to step a bit closer. So now your body is pressed upon this. Yes? And we're now going to place your hands on their head. Good. And what I want you to do now is, you guys at home, imagine you're checking if this melon is ripe. Yeah? Just gently, with your fingertips and your thumbs, moving the whole, around the whole of the crater, the cranium, all the way around. And you will notice, with your eyes closed, you'll notice this area that is tender, isn't it? But this also includes going down towards the base of the head, right where the neck is. Yes, right where the neck is, and you notice there is very tender in some people. With a thumb, right at the bottom, the base of the head, where the neck joins the head. You feel it? On either side, you feel it's tender, isn't it? Yes? Right up on here, Nicole. Right up on. Whoop. Yeah, lower down, lower down. Right towards the lapel of the neck. Because here, if I, if I now glide my whole hands now down towards the bottom of the egg, yeah? Glide your thumb all the way down to the back of the head. Yeah? What you can do now, you can do this. You can rotate the head. Can you guys feel that? That's it. Move your thumb to it lower. Yeah, you'll feel it. And you can have your hands over his ears. Yeah? You should do this now, just warm it up. Just warm it up. 
So for you guys at home, each person is different. You'll notice that as, as the classes continue, you notice that my methodology is not always the same. It depends on the individual. I'm always catering for the person, yeah? But the main, the archetypes or the techniques are, are relatively the same. Just that the order I might do it might, might be different depending on the person. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate left. Yes, just put your hands on the egg. One hand where their chin is. Yes. Yeah, you rotate towards the left. One hand where the chin is. Yes, and other hand. So can you imagine you're holding an egg? Try lifting up the egg. Do it in such a way where you can hold the egg. Yeah, can you hold the egg? Good. What I want you to do, right? Imagine you have, if you have ever had puppies or dogs, you hold the back of the dog on his neck, isn't it? You hold the back of his neck. Yeah? And you start to massage here, start exploring, start pinching. Using your fingers or even the whole of your palms if you can. Clasp the whole of the neck with your palms if you can. If there's enough surface area, be gentle, be firm. Have some, have some conviction on what you're doing. Yes? So for you guys at home, this is very important. The cervical neck here gets pulled. So as you hold on to the other side, these muscles and tendons, it's going to loosen the thing up. The more you can loosen it up, the more you can start aiding them with movement on their head. Because we've already prepared the shoulder now, so now it's all about relaxing the neck. Yes? And if needs be, you could transverse. Yeah, holding the chin and do the same thing on the other side. You notice the reason why we do this is different angles, isn't it? We really cover the whole of the neck. What she thought of? What she thought of? Yeah, well done, Sean. Sh Sh well done, and I see, look, you see we're in the bow stance here. You guys notice? We're in the bow stance, isn't it? Yeah, go to bow stance, yeah? Good. I'm going to bow stance for this. Good. I mean, now what I want you to do, right, is I want you to hold the back of the neck, the head, where the egg is, yeah? Where the egg starts, and you just start rotating. Yeah, rotating. If you push on the thumb, the egg should move. So with, with uh, Gary here, the moment I do this, he wants to bring it, his head back, so I'm just going to leave it here for a bit, just to remind him. So ladies and gentlemen, you might find a spot that needs a bit more help. Just rotate your thumb on that spot. Yeah? So for you guys at home, if you have someone like this is a bit, who has a bit more tough, tougher knot, your thumb might get tired, like doing this position here. So what you do is, you imagine the thumb is like an arm, and here I would bring the elbow in. So you see this part here? There's no difference to this part. So I can bring my elbow in there. I could twist my whole elbow inside there. Yeah, the elbow. Boom, elbow. And I'm gonna put my whole my arm into this now. Be gentle though, because this could be very, some people might find this painful, but I promise you it's good because we're loosening everything up. Yeah, if you have your, if you need your thumb, lump, thumb in that one spot now, you can just turn. Leave your thumb in that one spot. There's a spot that is going to feel tender. Leave your thumb in that spot and just turn. Just turn. Good, good, good. It's transverse. Just the other side, yeah? Just the other side. Woo! Putting your thumb in that spot. Find it. Locate it. There's this tender spot. Leaving your thumb in that spot and just rotate the head. Right here, this guy here. Very tender here as well. So you find you find you guys if the person has if their tailbone if it's tight, it'll mean the neck is tight as well. Yeah, you can just imagine you're a dog when a dog chases on tail. The same thing happens with a human being. If your tail is 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 pulled to one end, end your head is going to try to pull it. Does it make sense? Good. Good. Yeah, I mean, if you're finding it hard to locate that spot, just once again, just holding the back of the head and just like a puppy. 
grabbing with the whole palm. Yeah? Pouncing on it. Wow. And then I can hold the, the head and just do a little gentle holding the neck and do gentle shakes again. Just gentle ones. Just gentle ones. Just gentle shakes. I'm just bringing my elbow in this spot here where Gary needs it. Gary's okay? Just breathe. Fun by, by doing this, add more power, placing one thumb on top of the other. The okay, care just continues, giving movement, yeah? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it might be too late now, but we'll see, yeah? So please come, come behind them, yes, pulling onto the head again, and once again, just checking, checking the melon's right. Check if the melon's right. Yeah, and then holding the base of the head, and then once again, like an egg, helping to move, maneuver around. Just gently. Uh, you think the fire alarm's kind of going off? Don't know what's happening. It's really chaos. I'm telling you, this is like Chinatown for real. <laughs> it's so much. This is like such a, a lively community. So if you're in the London area, please come check us out, Mr. Hackney Community Services. Um, if you want to volunteer, if you want to learn how to do these massages, uh, please come. Yeah, so check us out on Instagram. I will leave a link at the bottom of the video. And come, come join us, it'll be fun. Good, ever rotate the other side? Nice. Rotate the other side. Just gently. Just gently. Gently. Mm. Good. So good. Good. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna hold the head like this, yes? You're gonna bring the head so it's more upright. Good. And then here we're gonna start stroking. Stroking, 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 past the ears. Imagine it's like water. Or imagine you're giving the head a wash, yes? That's it. I've been down the back of the head, side of the neck. I can give him a wash. Yes. Down the shoulders. Yes. Down the arms. Get as much surface you get into it. Like you're wringing dry or something as well, yeah? Yes. All the way down. Yes. Down the chest. We're literally covering every single area that we've been working on, okay? Every single area we've been working on. And then down the back, we're pushing forward, down the back. Good. Have we ready? Two legs. If you, if, you, if, you, if you can't feel an edge, you can point and do it. Yeah? So the finger waggles. Yeah? You don't want the feet to be tight, yeah? But you do have control when you can do this. All the way down, all the way down. A bit more, Gary. All the way down. Down the arms as well. Remember, change the shape of your egg, yeah? Good, just change the shape of your egg. Good, well done. Well done. Yes? Very nice. Yes, we're good. So please, um, for the class, well done today. I know it's quite hard because you probably just joined us today, isn't it? So these guys, it's like your third week now, isn't it? And, and Sean, you find you're getting more stronger, isn't it? The more you come, the more you learn, and the more you can take home and teach your family and practice on your family members. Today we've got David and his mother here. So she invites his, his son today. So if you guys at home, please, you know, we invite you to come with your family here, yeah? 
But please, could you tell the elders that we thank them so much for their time and we, it was our honour to help them. And for you guys at home, thank you so much for joining. I'm the Avatar and the Well done, guys. Gary, I'm a happy morning. Okay, so the Gary has got all his leg is pulling, so we're gonna get him to let go of his leg. Yeah, Good, good, again, good. And then relax. Good, and walk backwards. So as we're doing this movement here, his body is naturally, naturally balancing. And stop. Good. Ready? Again, please. The bow stance, yeah? Good. Come bring higher, higher. Higher. Good. That's it. That's better. Evan, stop. 
Yeah, please continue. The knee pain, but his, but his leg is like, yeah. we, we, we're getting him to let go. Yeah, this, this exercise will make his legs stretch out. This can go. And then step backwards. Good, step back. Can you stop here, sir? Good. Right, your arms are to really close his eyes. I want you to visualize now his spine. <coughs> yes. Visualize where I'm tucking, where his spine is. So now we're moving down to the tail. Tell, tell him, can you visualize where the tail is? Yes? Good. Good, relax. I'll ask, I'll ask him now to lift up his left leg as much as he can. Yeah, that's it. No, you can. Okay. Yes, okay. Like, oh, I can't. I can't. That's okay. Yes, okay. Lift it up. I help you now. I help you. Yep, that's it. You lift. I help you. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe in. Do that. Relax. Okay. Breathe and breathe and let it. Yeah, relax. That's it, relax. He's scared this one. Relax. Let go of his arm. Let go of your arm. Let go. I've got you. I've got you. I've got you. Okay, relax. 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 Yeah. Now, breathe. Good. Relax. Relax. Yeah. I say good, 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 good. Find your balance, find your balance, good. Nicole, you get back. Psychologically, he's holding onto his toe. He's scared of pain. He's had to change the ball, so now he's all scared of the pain. He holds on. When you choose to let go, yeah? you relax, yeah? I've got you. You guys say it's false cool touch, yeah? As, as he's breathing, I'll breathe in. So as I breathe out, my eyes lift up. That sense is being really hugging, yeah? Tend to breathe in, please. Breathe out. Breathe out. Good. Tend to breathe in. Breathe out. That's it, that's it. Good. Tell him now, can you feel his, his bum move? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's really important that he can feel his buttocks, his glutes. We're doing the glutes control the whole leg. Yeah. Yeah, if he has no vision of his tail bone, at least have vision of your glutes. Okay. Is he 72 years old? I have to be very gentle. Yeah. He said he's much 
much more relaxed now. Yeah, please, I'll just hold your hands together. This. Yeah. Relax your head, for me, please, sir. Breathing in. Breathing out. Thank you.